Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video I want to cover off a feature that's coming in PHP 7.1 which they're calling Symmetric Array Destructuring, which is a bit of a, a mouthful. But if you're inclined towards JavaScript, then you may already know this as Destructuring Assignment. So it's a feature inside ES6, which is really useful. Uh, I want to demonstrate it first in JavaScript because I believe that's where they've stolen this from. There is already something in PHP from PHP 4 as far as I remember that's called list which you may have used but it's not that prevalent. I rarely see it honestly. But I'll show you a way that PHP Storm will come up with it when you're refactoring. So anyway, yeah, let's get started. The idea here is fairly straightforward. Let's say we want to pull out the values A, B and C from the array and we want to pop them all into their own variables called A, B, and C. Now we could do it like this. And when we run this now, we should anticipate seeing B set to the value of B. And that's fine, but it's a heck of a lot of typing for quite a trivial concept. So instead of doing all that, what we can do instead is wrap all these inside brackets notation and then say from array pull out the corresponding match so a to a b to b and c to c and th these letters don't actually need to match up of course we could set the last one to be z and in fact if we log out z this time then we still see c and you could do other fancy things here we could have another one in here maybe y which would equal to t for some reason and even though that doesn't actually like it so that's a default value and the reason i'm setting a default is because obviously a matches up to a b to b z to c but there's no fourth value in there so when we try and pull out a y then it's not going to have anything to to match up to so if we try that now then it's going to default back to t even though we're getting this error in the, the js bin it's just not quite up to speed i should imagine with, with the latest changes inside javascript but anyway that's fair enough and you know that's uh, one way of doing things could also get rid of that and we could maybe take out b just leave it blank and by leaving it blank it's just going to be ignored and so if we set z now we should expect to see c logged out again and we do and again you can do something similar with the object let's imagine that we wish to pull out the value of b we can say let b in this case equal to object so whatever the key of B is inside object, it's going to pull it out. And then if we console log out B, we should expect to see the number two. And we're also getting the output from our console log up here as well, which has just confused me now for one moment. But if we clear that off and run it again, we only see the number two. And if this is at all interesting to you, then I would highly recommend looking at the MDN or the Mozilla Developer Network documentation for destructuring assignment. It's really straightforward and easy to read and the examples are great, honestly. So yeah, check, do check that out. Now, as I mentioned earlier, PHP has had something like this since about PHP version 4, and it's using the list. And I don't want to say it's a function because it's technically not a function, but yeah, it's it's kind of not something you see that often, honestly. But say we wanted to get the values A, B, and C out of the old style array, so maybe we want to put them into variables of the same, then we could use list on the old style array, and then we could say echo out B. And if we were to run that now, then we should see B output, which is fair enough. In PHP 7.1, however, we can do this using the shorthand array style syntax. And it doesn't matter whether it's the old style array or the new style array, honestly, in terms of what we're pulling this from. So I'll just comment that one out to illustrate the point. And instead, this time we'll echo out C. And this time we see the value of Z, which is the third one which is what we wanted to pull out from our new style array. And again, we can leave out bits of data if we're not interested in it, just like we did in JavaScript. We can just leave a blank there. And if we save this, it still works. Now, where this becomes a little bit more interesting, honestly, is when we use this with for each. And what we want to do is from the example data, we want to pull out the first name, which is the first value, the last name, which again would be the middle value, and then the age, which would be the last value. So yeah, quite nice. You can actually do that with list though. It just The syntax just looks a little bit uglier if you do it with list, but it all still works. So where might you actually see this in action? Well, as I say, it's pretty rare, honestly, to see list in my opinion. You don't see it that often at all. Maybe with PHP 7.1 onwards, we might start seeing the destructuring syntax a little bit more frequently used, but let's see 
an example of where you might encounter this. So we'll just say we've got an action. This doesn't really matter at all. It's just purely an, an example. And we'll just say some var equals lowercase a. And then we'll define ourselves a switch statement, which takes in that sum bar. We'll just set up a case and a default. And let's imagine that this in an action method returns an array containing a, b, and c. So now if we was to extract this switch statement out into its own method, whether it be a private, protected, or public, doesn't really matter. We'll say switch extract, whatever. It doesn't really matter what it's called either. But if we extract it, and you can see now it will have been used in this list setup and you should really understand at this point what each of these values will be. So yeah, it's kind of a real world-ish look at a way that you may see this in action. The reason I don't think that you see it in action that frequently, honestly, is because it's not that well used, is it's not that well understood, which means it's not that easy to read for people who are perhaps not a hardcore geek on PHP. But maybe, I don't know, maybe that's just my theory on it. But anyway, hopefully you found this useful and hopefully you'll uh, start using the destructuring format when you move to PHP 7.1.